like they matter more as you get better yep but unless you're like top top you know learn your game, fundamentals yep. work on your punishes understand yeah. how to punish things i see people switching to different characters when they haven't even gotten to the peak exactly the like they're not even exactly. close to the peak of the character kind of like what you did with vega like you're really pushing vega to yeah i, I want to make sure that like i am at the end i'm like yeah. this is it like there is no more i can do I can't improve my anti airs. It's like I'm exactly. playing optimally, and this you're, you're basically like nickeling diming him. Exactly. See what else you people haven't out even of gotten there yet. People are like under in their and 20s. they're ready to jump shit. <laughs> and they're jumping shit. They're ready to jump shit. It's actually quite sad. Yeah. All right, so we got Maticus, uh Maticus versus Berwin. Berwin is going to Ibuki in this matchup. Wow. Interesting. All right. Well, we already know how this matchup is supposed to go, right? Ibuki does a few things. Balrog hits her once she dies, but Ibuki yeah, also has much. like the explosive comeback yeah, she, factor. She does. I love watching Ibuki play it, though. Yeah. She and his performance at final round was phenomenal. Unexpected. <laughs> right. Just absolute art to watch. Yeah. Like the way the player is just so smart. You can just see just see how smart he is and the decisions that he makes. That's really what differentiates him to other Ibukis is how he plays the character. Into every player really yeah pretty much the way he plays no one he's like, a world-class player yeah world like class player always doing well in tournaments like the way daigo is like a somewhat of like a genius in like vps and fire like making reads mm -hmm. sienna's like a genius in like okay like the heart and brain and reaction thing right sienna's mm -hmm. like the brain mm -hmm. he's that guy he's like the, the top of the brain like the way he played ganon 4 was like insane absolutely you know? so technical right? yeah such a technical player even Fong, he's pushing he pushed falling to the limits Fong should have never ever made a topic <laughs> he got ninth at evo with Fong, yeah. so it's like quite impressive like you're going through the gauntlet of chun lee's and who else was top tier ryu and all that last last season so but anyways back to the match you got maticus with a crush counter sleep going trying to get some balrog offense but he does not confirm the overhead uh, yeah that, that would have been that was just like a jab yeah crush punch mm -hmm. kill like that would have been it yeah, would have closed it out, but it but, seems like it didn't matter. Yeah, Balrog, you should now, be when you mess up. As if well. I'm Berwin, I'm probably thinking he's going to go Jury. His Jury's been doing well. I don't understand what the switch was for. But. He has probably played against Maticus before. That's my bet. And okay. he's probably He probably hasn't done too well with Jury. Okay. So maybe he was trying something new. I don't know. I understand. Hey, Book is definitely not a bad pick, you know? Um, definitely the, not, but she is one of the more technical characters I want to say in this game. Yeah. She has to be unlocked. Yeah. You know, not a lot is given to you. Unless you actually put some time into her. But once you unlock her, then that's where, you know, the shenanigans begin. All right, so Berwin getting something started with Command Dash. Yeah, the Command Dash is definitely not something a lot of people want to deal with. <laughs> no way. Because what happens is you go to react to it, and, then he, and you he, get counter hit. Or your character swings the wrong way. <laughs> oh Let's not begin. All right, so we got the neutral game going. Oh, he has Dash Punch. I noticed that Maticus likes to go for the jab. Or the, the stand short instead of the stand jab, like I see most bar rocks go for it. Yeah, because I mean, if a character has a three frame move, they can't check. Stand jab is four frame startup, mm -hmm. so he's going for the guaranteed counter hit. Right, he just want he doesn't want to want to guess around yeah, with it. Exactly. Understandable. So he has him locked in a corner right now. Oh, wow. Maticus in pretty much control wow. here. This is a horrible position for Berwin, but if he knows the bookie stuff, he can bring this back. Oh, for sure. So I was telling Maticus before he needs to pay attention to whenever his opponent's attacking throws because. Berwin's been taking like everything, and I, I told him like Balrog is really scary when he starts beating you for taking throws. Mm -hmm. That's when like things get hard for your opponent. Mm -hmm. But he's, he, I mean, he's been letting Berwin do it so far. Maybe he doesn't feel like it's worth doing it. But I don't think that's what it is. I think, I think when it comes to it, players that are kind of going, growing into a better player, kind of hitting that intermediate stage, they tend to get tunnel vision on their offense. Uh -huh. The biggest thing you can do is keep a clear head and understand every situation that's yeah. actually happening on the screen. You know, in this game where sequences are so strong, oh, yeah. it programs you almost to exactly. just run your offense, you know, and not really think too much. But if you look at top players, that's what differentiates them. Yeah. Every situation is unique. Yep. You know? And if you watch Smug is... play Balrog, he will beat you with Balrog without even ever getting the beat trigger. Yep. And he'll actually outfoot to you as well. All right, so he gets a bomb going. Oh, Command Dash, let's go. Okay. Let's see what Berwin can get going. And, and the three frame jab combo. takes it into target combo. Three piece combo with the goodness. Wings. Three piece and a biscuit. Oh, the biscuit. <laughs> Ibuki is not going home hungry tonight. Nope. She will definitely hungry tonight. Nope. She will definitely be full of chicken. <laughs> Extra spicy. It's just funny because it was Balrog on the screen when you said that. <laughs> right. Just, it just doesn't sound good. You started it. <laughs> you said it. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. All right. So, what we got up? Alrighty. I think I'm in the. Uh, You're in losers finals, finals, aren't you? Oh, 
Well, losers finals is the loser if you oh, win. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So loser semis then. Yeah. So I got two matches to I'll go. see you in grand finals if you pick Vega. Okay. So what? I'll probably see you. Okay. Either in losers finals or grand finals. I expect to see you in the grand finals. Yeah. Hopefully. I don't know. Marvin might cheese me out, man. Hey, man. He beat me last time. He just, he just, spent, <laughs> he just spent like like how many? How long played my, uh, my carry? I think you'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just her damage output. If I maintain the control. Sin versus Sin. Versus okay. Jeff, yes. Oh, Sin, yeah. Sin, very strong lower player <coughs> coming up here. I actually like how I played yeah, against him. Yeah, he played really I well. I was really, con really yeah. controlled slower, mm -hmm. very well. That's similar to like how I played against Nash fan. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't expect to do that well because he's beat me every time we played.